Task 7.7 .7, Report In this task, we will view the reports of the transaction that involve with the multi currency. First, we will view our ledger report. So please click on GL and select ledger report. The date range will change to 1st January until 31st of January current year. And for the ledger type, we'll choose all ledger, but we check show debtors and creators control account only because we don't want to see others account in the chart of account. Now for the account, we don't need to filter, we just maintain choose no filter and no filter for the control account. Now, click on inquiry for system to search all related to what we have filtered. The system will show the summary of the debtors and creditors account only. As you can see here, this is the summary of the transaction that involves with sales and also purchase from the supplier D of USD and also for the customer for. If you want to view in a listing format, you may click on the preview and here you may choose which type of report you want to view. We have dual currency ledger, S10 ledger, multi-currency ledger, standard ledger and etc. We can choose multi-currency ledger and click on OK. Under this multi-currency ledger, the system will show the foreign currency and also the local currency. So this is the general ledger by multi-currency as you can see here. And if you scroll down and look on the grand total, the grand total is 26,330 Ringgit Malaysia. And this is under foreign currency. You can also see the loss on the foreign exchange which is 54 Ringgit. Once you have done view your ledger report, close screen preview. Let's view our second report which is profit and loss statement. So please go to GL and select profit and loss statement. Change the date to 31st of January. You may also choose to view in which currency. I will choose in the Ringgit Malaysia and click on preview. You may also filter the option before you click on preview. This is the profit and loss statement in Ringgit Malaysia. After deduct the purchase and also the loss on forex exchange will still receive the net profit of 2,271 Ringgit Malaysia. Now, if you change to another currency, for example, Singapore dollar, the system will show only the transaction of sales. Okay, and also the purchase. And our net profit is 1,056 Point two eight cent of you uh, Singapore dollar. If you change to USD, the USD rate is higher, which is three point four five. And if you click on preview, this is the report of profit and loss statement in USD. So we still receive the net profit of USD six hundred and fifty eight point two six. USD, US dollar. So close print preview. The next, the next report you want to view is balance sheet report. So click on GL, select balance sheet statement, change the date to first thirty first of January. You may filter the option if you want. Then click on preview. This is the balance sheet statement and as at 31st January of current year. The trade debtors, cash at bank and also trade creditors. And for the retained earning, we receive profit of 2,271 uh, 2, Ringgit Malaysia. Now close print preview. In a balance sheet statement, we also can change the currency 
to view the statement in different currency. And the result will be exactly the same with what we view in our profit angle statement. Now, close balance sheet statement. Next, we view debtor aging statement. The debtor aging statement will be under AR debtor aging report. So the debtor aging report, we change the date to 31st of January. You may also filter the debtors since we only involve with customer 4. If you want to view all, you can just select no filter. Report option, you may choose to view with detail. If there's no filter, then you just click on inquiry. Since the transaction only involves with cost number 4, this is the, the debt to aging of cost number 4. So usually it will show up until 6 months. But if you click on preview, you may choose you want to view the debt to aging for how many months. The minimum is 4 months and you can view up until 12 months. So if let's say we choose to 12 months, This is the debtor aging for 12 months. So since the transaction only on January, that's why it will show only for one month. And month to date pay is 2,700. This is the amount that the customer for already paid to us. Now close print preview, let's view our last report which is debtor statement report. Now click on AR Debtor Statement Report. Also the same, change the date range from 1st of January until 31st of January. Debtor, you may filter by not to select and filter only customer 4. Click on OK and click on Inquiry. So the system will help us to search only regarding customer 4. Now you may click on Preview. Also the same, you may choose the debtor statement either 12 months or 6 months. Now click on OK. Then this is our debtor statement for our customer 4, which is SGD. And all this amount is in Singapore dollar. And the balance is 1,800 Singapore dollar. So once you have done, close print preview and close that statement. That's all for us 7.7. .7.